came to pass. I kept the faith. I kept it. I lost a lot of stuff. I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of strength. I lost a lot of courage. I lost a lot of time. I lost a lot of money. But I kept down on my knees. I was still believing. Broke. I was believing. Lonely. I was believing. Betrayed. Huh. They count me out. Well, you can't count. Well seasoned, I'll be well in doubt. I am him. I am him. They question some friends, they in and out. I'm still the chosen one on my accounts. Deep down, I'm a great one. Prophecy written, no mistakes, none. Take one. When you be shining, they tend to hate one. Fake ones. I see many levels past phase one. I'm pressure, a different placement. Diamond in the rough. There is no control in me. Cause I put my heart on my sleeve. Presence of the great, great, great. They overlooking me, wait, stay, stay, wait, late. I'm in position, no great take, vacates. I feel the voids in their blank space. But instead of done, I kept a great pace. I am here. How do you make a shepherd boy king? He had not been trained, he didn't go to school for it, he wasn't prepared for it. But God said, I found me a man who's after my heart, and he's going to be the next king. King, no middle man's, I'm in the man. No box, no ceiling fans to get in here. I'm Gilligan's. I'm chosen. The scroll is effortless. My reach, I'm ambidextrous. Diamond in the rough. There is no control in me. Cause I put my heart on my sleeve. Smoking mirrors in the air when they miss it. You've been in the presence of the great one. There is no control in me. Cause I put my heart on my sleeve. gentlemen the following contest is in the true rev bantamweight division scheduled for three three-minute rounds presented by chelsea spa 
on the square in Fairfield. Introducing first, finding out of the blue corner, this mixed martial artist stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighed in at 128 and one half pounds. Representing Porcelli MMA and fighting out of Clearfield, Iowa. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Colby Nelson. And his opponent across the cage in the red corner, this fighter stands five feet, six inches tall, weighed in at 135 pounds. Representing the American Pit Fighters. And fighting out of Burlington, Iowa. Ladies and gentlemen, we introduce to you Justin Samurai Dog Newman. Your round for this special way to contest is Ben Wilson. This should be an exciting matchup. And here we go. Yeah, Colby Nelson in the yellow. There's an immediate takedown. Right with the takedown. Wow. The power of Justin Newman right there. Just ragdolling. Bad position for Colby Nelson. He's got to get out of this. He can't sit here. Good job, good job. Way to move, way to move. You know, and Colby Nelson's doing a good job here. Justin Newman is just a backpack right now. Bad position, nowhere to go. Just relentless. Colby Nelson is going to need to get back on his feet. Uh-oh, that's in, that's in. That's, that's in there pretty deep. I can't see the referees. It's, it's under the chin. He's going to reposition himself. Justin Newman's trying to get that, that rear naked choke, but it is definitely underneath that chin. Can Colby Nelson fight to get it off? He's got one hand on. I can't tell if he's got both hands on, on one of Justin's trying to pull it off or not. I can't quite see what's going on underneath there. That's it. That is it. Justin Newman just absolutely dominates from point A to point B. Justin Newman absolutely owned that, owned that fight from, from the horn. You know, he doesn't even look like he's tired at all. He's ready for another round. He is. Ooh, oh, yeah. We have a... <laughs> we got somebody in here to clean up that, but it looks like we have a little, little bit of a, an accident there by Colby Nelson. He looks like he lost his lunch. A little bit of a digestive discharge there. Yeah, you know what? It happens when somebody is choking you unrelentlessly, just trying to take you out. Um, you know, can do weird things. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Just an adrenaline alone. Might have, might have had With some the, corn for lunch. I can't quite tell from here, but. Uh, if we could get the camera to zoom in. Yeah, that'd be great. If, uh, Just uh, zoom in right in on that. We're curious what he had for lunch today. This might be why he lost. I'm not sure. And 28 seconds of round number one. Your winner due to submission via rear naked choke. Justin Samurai Dog Newman. Yep. I'm here with our winner, Justin Samurai Dog Newman. One minute, 28 seconds of round number one. The biggest smile I've seen in the building tonight. That had to feel good. Yes, sir, it sure did. Oh. This is the probably most exciting thing I've ever did. This is awesome. I want to thank my coaches, Tony and Dave Mann and Joseph and all my other teammates and my family, most of all. Woo! They're my number one supporters. 
and I love him to death. Woo. Well, you're here in your hometown to get your win here tonight. Take a turn around here. Let's take a look at our replay on the big board and maybe talk us through the end of this fight. I know that you were trying to get that rear naked choke. Eventually, you did. Yep. Yeah, I knew I could win by rear naked choke. All I had to do is get on his back. Um, I'm really strong with my arms, so I knew I could do it. Showing some speed, showing wrestling ability. What's your dream to accomplish in this sport? Uh, I just want to experience it, maybe build a name for myself for the town of Burlington and maybe get to a higher uh, place in the, the fighting line. Whew. Hey, we'll see you later at Wagenbeck. Has he made his name in Burlington, guys? Your winner, Justin Samurai Dog Newman. What a great job by Justin Newman. You know, it was nice to see that. It was from, from point A to point B, he owned that fight. You know, I don't have anything else to say. That was great. So, uh, did, uh, did Newman have to cut some weight for this fight? So, so what I'm what I'm seeing here is, and this is just something I'm noticing, but Colby Nelson weighed in at 128, um, and, and Newman weighed in at 135. That tells me that Newman cut it, cut his weight to 135, and, and Nelson probably walks around at 128. So I'd like to see Nelson come back at 125, get in his right weight class, and fight where he's supposed to be. That makes a whole lot more sense for him than trying to fight somebody who's probably walking around at 45 to 50, you know, on fight day. But great job by Justin Newman, beautiful. Absolutely, let's take it into the cage to Mike Savage.